was back in the wild. Uh, oh, uh, <clears throat> hey, what's up? Uh, sorry, uh, Fred Bear, Ted Nugent, great song. Wanted to do a little announcement real quick, saying that, yes, I know it's been about nine days since I've uploaded anything. Um, as far as The Last of Us goes, still working on it. Don't worry, I'll get it done. Just hold your horses, will you? Jeez, patient. Um, as for fell compilations... Uh, I'm still working on Fel Comp Relation number 100. I still need to get to Fel Comp 99, though. I'm on, like, 92 or 93 right now is what I'm working on. I've lost count. Um, 93, I think, is what I'm working on. And Dylan is even working on a Fel compilation. So hopefully we can we can get these done so I can get number 100 out. Um, it's going to be amazing. It's going to be one of the greatest videos, if not my greatest video, I've ever done. It'll definitely be the greatest Fel compilation ever done because it is literally every single fail up to this point. And it's pretty much getting right around New Year's time, so this is sort of like our little recap for the entirety of the last four years. So, yeah. Um, I hope you guys are ready to see that whenever it's ready, but until then, enjoy the Hunter Call of the Wild. I uh, figured I'd play something different. Have fun. Welcome back to Brisket Games, I'm your host Levi, and before we start, I just want to give a quick disclaimer. This is a hunting game. Um, I know a lot of people out there don't really agree with uh, killing animals, or they don't like to see animals dying, which I can kind of understand that. So, um, yeah, uh, just for any of you who don't like hunting, uh, you might want to go ahead and waddle your way out the door there. Uh, but for the rest of you, welcome to the Hunter Call of the Wild. This is a very realistic hunting simulator. Uh, it's not the most realistic game on the planet, but it's pretty realistic. So today, we are hunting in the Yukon, so expect a lot of grizzly bear and moose and caribou and that sort of thing and wolves, because I like dangerous game. And uh, got my dog Roscoe here, he's a bloodhound. I know, I know what you guys are thinking. What about The Last of Us? Come on, man. Yeah, I'm working on it, all right? I've been busy with Fowl Compilation number 100. It's been taking me a long time to get that done. Um, and, I mean, I, I, I got some more Last of Us stuff coming soon. Just just hold your horses. I wanted to play something a little bit different for a change. What's the matter, Roscoe? You getting tired? You want to do some hunting? All right, we'll get, we'll get started here in a second. It's a nice 6 o'clock in the morning. Got to get started early if you want to go hunting. Uh, I'm going to give you a rundown of the gear. So, first of all, I've got this. This is an AR-10. Let me take the scope off. An AR-10 in 308. Um... Pretty good. Uh, let me, uh, oh. I don't have the right bullets loaded in anything. Uh, how do I change ammo? Let's go. Put the scope back on. Limited to five rounds because even in a hunting game, uh, <clears throat> hunting laws matter. Uh, I've got a Glock 20, 10 millimeter, as our secondary. Let me load the correct ammo into this. <clears throat> okay. Very nice. Wobble woo -wa. Got a red dot. Well, it's more of a red cross, I guess you could say. Uh, and I've got a Super Red Hawk 44 Magnum, which also has the incorrect ammunition loaded in it. Uh, yeah, okay. I'm loading a lot of ammo for um, penetration over expansion. Now, I know a lot of hunters would say uh, load expansion, but we're in a place where things are very big and deadly, so I'm going for a little bit more penetration. Uh, so it should be okay. Uh, I've got some calls. I don't think I need those two. I'll keep them on me, though, because those are my must-haves. Got a predator call and a moose call. I don't really have anything for caribou. Uh, I've also got a rangefinder as well. So, let's get started. Roscoe! This is going to be our hunting dog. His name is Roscoe. He's a bloodhound. And he's a good boy. Come here. Come here, boy. I won't pet you. Here. Still. Here, sit. I won't pet you. Hey, buddy. He's a good dog. Pet. Good boy. Alright. Alright, let's go. Alright, so when I say this game is realistic, I mean, I'm walking, for, for first of all, so a lot of you have noticed I'm walking. 
uh, instead of running like you do in most games. Uh, that is because in this game your footsteps actually can alert animals, so it's best to walk and keep it slow. And you can crouch and crawl on the ground and that sort of thing as well to even reduce it further. Um, you'll notice in the bottom right I've got like a little compass. It moves whenever I move. Uh, don't face the green. The green is your wind. So if you're facing the green, that means animals in that direction can smell you. So in other words, we're going to be heading probably north, northwest, maybe a little bit of southwest. We'll try southwest starting off. Our main focus is literally anything we can track and kill. So, yeah. Now a lot of you hunters out there are thinking, well, are you killing for sport or to eat? Well... This is a video game, so I can't eat a virtual deer, now can I? Uh, <laughs> so, it's killing for sport, I guess you could say. I mean, it's just fun. I mean... Look over here with my scope. Keep moving. So now a lot of people, they like to have their rifles or weapons slung over their shoulder. Well, we're in a place where a grizzly bear could come out at any second, so I'm not taking any chances on quick drawing something. Um, so I think this 308 battle rifle ought to get the job done. Something just took off running. Those were some big footsteps, too, whatever that was. There was an update done to this game, and they changed uh, a bunch of sound effects, so... Okay. The sounds that I'm used to, probably not what I'm going to be hearing. I don't know what that was running. It sounded like it was kind of over there, and it just kind of kept going that way. Let's see. I can find some tracks over here. Now tracks will kind of highlight on the ground so I can spot them easier. Oh, there they are. Oh, there's some right here. I doubt it was a fox, so we're going to keep moving. Ooh, there's something, I think, a little bit bigger over here. Because whatever was running sounded pretty heavy. Uh, moose tracks. The rest of them discovered. Okay, so now we know where, they be, where, where, the, where they've been sleeping. Alright, okay, the wind is not in our favor. Let's cut southeast. I don't like that. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna be honest. I don't like that. I'm gonna keep moving. Um. Well, luckily for us, if that thing starts getting closer to us, we'll kind of know. So. <laughs> uh. I think that's a moose. Okay. I really don't like that. I was literally about to start pulling the trigger. I was about to just start firing in over there. Oh, is that right there? A duck? It's not a duck, it's a caribou. Well, there's probably a duck sitting there. Alright, well, we got a caribou. How far away is that sucker? He ain't too far. Let's see. 123 yards. Alright, we're going to take a shot from here. 308. Oh, it's the birds! That's what that is. <laughs> I was wondering what that was. Alright, I hit him.
Don't think he's a happy camper. All right, Roscoe. You ready, buddy? All right, I'll track this one on my... Oh, well, I don't have to track it at all. <laughs> it just fell over. All right. Reload that one round I fired. All right, we got ourselves a caribou. Oh, look at that beauty. Uh, how do I... Oh, I can inspect it now? And turn the x-ray. Okay, so we can see where my bullet came in. I hit this sucker in the lung and the shoulder. Whoa, I can, I can move them all over the place. Uh, this is an okay shot. I'll take it. Okay, I didn't really want to save it to my trophy lodge or anything. I don't know why I was asking that. Excuse me one second there, fellas. I got a text, I believe. Uh, no, maybe it didn't. Okay. Okay, well, that's our first kill of the day. It was a caribou. Kind of wish I had a shotgun now that I, so I could take out those ducks. Hmm. But I don't, and I'm not going to shoot one with a rifle. Here, let me, uh, let me look across over this way. Okay, hold on one second. What's going on with my... Okay. It's fine. My controller drift is all over the place. Yep, there's some ducks. Looks like I gotta move the stick the tiniest bit and it wants to go up a little bit. Don't know why. Birds. <laughs> Alright, rifle's coming back out. Let's keep moving. Now we're kind of heading southeast. Looks like the wind has changed, so we can go over this way a little bit more. Roscoe, you keeping up okay, buddy? Lovely. Alright, I might, this video might be quite edited as well. I might cut out some of the walking parts and... You know, just stuff that takes a while. Unless you guys just want to have a nature walk with me. We'll see. I guess we'll see. Depends on how long this is and how many kills I get and whatever amount of time. It is a bit harder to find animals on this map than it is other ones, so... What we got here? Very old moose droppings. Okay, we're not going to bother with that then. Step on these branches here. Because if I step on a branch, it will actually make noise. So I'm trying not to. Same thing with uh, brushing along trees, that'll make noise. Kind of underneath these trees. Nice little opening here. Hmm. Nothing I can see. Excuse me one second, I gotta fiddle with my settings. Alright, we're good, let's keep going. Trying to uh, fix my little stick problem, but I, could, I gotta get a, just a, a better controller. See, I'm gonna go on a little bit of a rant here. I kind of hate the fact that Sony quit making uh, PlayStation 4s, and I guess they quit making controllers as well. 
Well, the, I, maybe oh, there's probably more controllers out in the world than there is consoles, but even then, like the stick drift, which is where like uh, I'll just like not even have any hands on my controller, and my dude will just kind of like start turning on his own or something like that. Then I'll just you know, I hate that so much. And the newer controllers are more prone to have it, and the older controllers already have it, so it's you know. Levi then proceeded to go on a wild grizzly bear chase and never find it. He then settled for a moose instead. Bison? Moose. That was a mating call too, so I could probably call that in. We'll give it a shot. Roscoe, lay down. Alright, let's call on this moose. That bear ain't coming. Somewhere up in here. down here. Let's see him. He's right up there. Oh, there's two of them. Hmm. I think there's three of them. <laughs> yep, there's three. gets down to me first is the one I'm going to shoot. I think it's going to be this one moving in right here. Too much brush and shit in the way though. Well. I don't know if I was gonna get a get a shot or not. I think they were kind of moving away from me. All right, I will take what I can get. And a uh, moose are very dangerous, so I'm actually gonna pull out the Glock for this because I want to get pretty close here. Saw one go across right there. Keep moving. Yeah, come on, Roscoe. Shot this thing right up here. There's the tracks. Oh, yeah. Oh, here's the blood. Yep. That is a round of a 308 for you. Mm -hmm. Here, Roscoe, you track him. To work, Roscoe. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Up here. 
another one called out. Alright, hang on. You come back here, Roscoe. You're a bit, you're a bit too, you're a bit too fast, Roscoe. Fifty to seventy-five percent health. Sounds about right. I tried quickly aiming for his lungs, and I think I might have just hit him. Going this direction. Oh, yeah, I see the hollow, it's like the little indicator up here showing me his dead body. There he lays. Eh, that's a good sized moose. There's big old horns on him. Oh yeah. That thing. Yep, right in the lung. That's where I was trying to aim. It's not a horrible shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't care about saving him. 800 bucks. Alright. Alright, hey guys, editing Levi here. I'm here to just say that I actually ended up, uh, kind of quit, I quit playing on that map, uh, after, you know, this, this bit of the video, um, because I wanted to change it up a little bit. I know I didn't kill a grizzly bear like I wanted to, but I wanted to change it up, so, uh, I decided to go to a new map and hunt some new animals. Catch you on the flip side. Alright, I am back, but I'm in a new hunting reserve. Alaska was alright, but it was getting a little... A little dry, I couldn't really find anything to hunt. Look at that, I just got here, and there's already bison calling my name. Uh, welcome to the Rocky Mountains of Montana. Alright, so, uh, a lot more to hunt here. Um, not really a lot more, there's a different variety of animal. We got, uh, well we got mule deer, we got bison, as you just saw. There's black bear here, turkeys, uh, even some pronghorn, some, uh, bighorn sheep. So yeah, uh, there's some stuff here we can hunt. I have changed out my loadout to be more appropriate for the area. So first up, I have a crossbow. I'm not quite sure the brand of it. It's got a scope on it. Uh, I've used the crossbow quite a bit in this game. I pretty much know how it works. Uh, as our self-defense sidearm, as always, we're going to have the good old Glock 20 with our red dot, red cross sight thing on it. Uh, I have now acquired a Remington 870 pump action in 12 gauge. We've got our option of birdshot and or buckshot if need be. Uh, mainly for hunting turkeys is why I brought this. And just because I like handgun shooting a lot in this game, I brought a Thompson Contender single shot pistol in 243 with the wrong ammunition loaded into it. Okay, uh, let's see, switch ammo, I want this. There we go. Alright. <clears throat> and it also has a scope on it, because why not? Alright. Now we just gotta start hunting. Well, actually, no, no, no. No, no, no. We have to change the time. We gotta wake up early in the morning to go hunting. So let me go back to the outpost here. Six would be all right. All right. Ooh. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This is one of the prettiest games ever played. All right. Um. Hey, Roscoe. How you doing, buddy? You know, come here. I want to pet you. Hold still. Hold still. Oh. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Nice to meet you, too. Alright. Let's go. Alright. So, 
With the time change, that means any animals that were here before, well, aren't here now. So those bison that just called out, not here anymore. They moved on. Looks like the wind is blowing up north, so we're gonna go south. Pretty sure it's a ZZ Top album, Going South. Yeah, I think so. I think I remember that album. Got some tracks all over the place. What we got right here? Pronghorn? Alright, what we got over here? Got some scat, what we got? Pronghorn, that's a dead carcass. There's a bear. Okay, no, the bison are uh, still over there. Okay, cool, interesting. Uh, I am not equipped for killing bison, so... Yeah, we're gonna ignore them. I don't really want to spook them, though. Hmm. Maybe I should go get a better weapon for bison, yeah. Hang on, uh, yeah, I'll cut back when I get another weapon. Okay, I think I found the right weapon. The good old 7mm Magnum. It's a single shot, and it's probably preferable if you use a scope on it. Alright. 7mm Magnum. Very powerful round. I don't know a whole lot about it in real life. I don't, I don't typically dwell into large caliber munitions in real life. Uh, I typically like some of the more intermediate stuff when it comes to rifles like 7.62x39 or 5.56, 223, that sort of thing, but from what I do know, a 7mm Magnum has enough energy to probably blow a deer in half, so if it doesn't do something to a bison, I don't know what will. That and in the game it says it's rated for killing something as big as a moose, so I would imagine it could probably kill a bison. I guess the bison is a little bit bigger than a moose. We'll see what happens. I'm gonna I'm gonna put my sight on the bison. There is a deer right there. Oh, and there's a bison right there too. He's nervous. Deer's calm. Why is the bison nervous? Hmm. Let me, uh... How far is that bison? He's about... Two, three hundred yards out there. Alright, where's that, where's that deer at? About two hundred and ten. Two hundred and twenty, something like that. Two hundred and ten yards out, I'd say. I could hit him from here, but I wouldn't be confident about it. I'm gonna call him in. Even thinking about it? <laughs> he does not care. Okay, uh, that's good to know. Alright, Bison, I'm settling for you then. Alright, here's the plan. I'm gonna get up close to it. I'm gonna blow his brains out. Sound like a good plan? I wasn't asking. I was demanding. I don't want to be fast about it now. I kind of want to take my time here. Well, crap. Hey, Roscoe, you ready to kill a bison, buddy? You ready to kill a bison? Oh, wow, we're gonna kill him good. Unless that deer comes back, then we'll probably kill him. But I don't even know where it went. It wandered off somewhere that way. <laughs> track on this bison. Actually, I want to keep my what distance he is from me. What in the... Pronghorn mating call? There's some pronghorn over there. I don't know, I'm kind of fixed on this bison. I like hunting big game. He's my way through the bush. I don't want to make too much racket. Still nervous. 200 yards. I don't want to get an angle on him, so I'm going to kind of strafe over this way, because right now the direction... What is that? 
I could have sworn I saw something right up there. Hmm. Okay, looks like the wind's trying to shift back facing south, so we gotta. What? Look at the pronghorn. Wow. If only I was after pronghorn, I'd actually probably go over there and t try my luck with him, but I'm. Fix on this bison. Alright. There is something right there. Right? No, that's the road. Alright, why did the hunter cross the road? Well, because he was wanting to obliterate a bison on the other side. Depending on how lazy editing Levi was, you probably didn't even hear that joke. Well, if he was lazy, then you did hear it. Alright. Getting ever so closer to our prey. Where'd he go? Are you kidding me? He took off on that amount of time? Don't you run. Don't you run. Don't you run. That was... I thought that was a good shot. We'll give him another. We'll give him another. Make sure we'll give his friend one. Maybe. Ah, oh, you're sprung right when I pulled the trigger. That's the one that I shot. He's going down. Probably gonna miss. Nope, we hit him. Alright, nice. Alright, we tagged two. One's basically already dead. The other one's probably gonna die soon. Alright. And just in case we see another, I kind of want to use this single shot pistol. It's kind of funny in real life. I'm all about semi-auto this, full auto that. But in games, I can do whatever I want. <laughs> with no repercussions. There's no method of practicality. Well, I mean, there is in this game, because it's best to use specific calibers for specific animals. Alright. Uh, Roscoe, if you would, track. Sure. Smell blood from here. You got it? Oh, he got it. He got it. Go get him. There's a dead one right there. Oh. Where'd you go, Roscoe? Oh, there you are. What you got, boy? Hm. Show me. Can't tell if he's got that one up there or if he, see, if he, or, bleh, or if he smells the other one. I have trouble speaking in all of these videos. <laughs> I think he's got this one, is what he was sniffing. No, he walked past it. He's got the other one, then. Alright, I'm gonna let him follow that while I, uh... Look at where I got this one. Alright, so... Probably didn't get the best shot. Oh, man. Ah, I don't even want to look at it. I don't even want to look at it. Hang on, can I... I stop. Okay. Don't show this again. Oh. I'm coming, lad. I'm hoping I got a better shot on this one. Is he's tracking the first one I shot? Two. Zero to twenty-five percent health. Yeah, he's going down. He's laying up here in a bush somewhere, keeled over. Yep, there he is. Good boy, Roscoe. Come here. Good boy. Good boy. Pet. 
Good boy, Roscoe. Good boy. Alright. Here he is. Flesh. Ah, oh, grazed his neck. Well, judging from that neck shot, <laughs> he should have died either way. He should have died on impact. I blew the side of his neck off. Wow. Okay, I'll take it. Alright, let's uh let's walk up this road. Let's see if I can get something with a pistol now. Get my rangefinder out. Alright, so we've killed a pronghorn. Well we killed two pronghorns here. Oh hey there, fellas. Hmm. I smell profit. Okay, so that's yeah, that was two. Yeah, come on, Roscoe. Nice little field there. Ooh, bison. Yeah, I'm going after them. See you later, pronghorn. I found a new best friend. You thought you could shake me, bison? I right, probably should stop running. I don't, I don't get no bison fever now. Well, I know how far they are, though. Good 230. Ooh, is that a bear next to him? Is that a bear? Ooh, it's a bear. Ooh, that's a black bear. My favorite bear. Hmm. Ha! Ah, bison or bear? Bison or bear? Mm mm mm. Bison's gonna be easier to hit. Mating call. Yeah, I don't have a call for you fellas. Hmm. Bison's easier to hit, but bear's gonna go down easier. Made my choice. Very dangerous, so the Glock comes out. Now I've had more trouble out of. I see the bison running up that way. I've had more trouble out of grizzlies than I have uh, black bears, but. Still, always good to be cautious. I mean, I don't think he's probably, I don't think he's getting far, but, you know. Oh, I see him. I think I saw him run down there. I saw something move. What was that? Did I see something? I, I, I thought I saw something over there. Huh. Maybe I didn't. I don't know. I'll let editing Levi be the choice of that. So if I saw something, then I'll probably put in a little cut there or something. Those bison are still in the area, but they ain't too happy. Let me see how far they went. Couldn't have gone that. Oh, that's why they could have gone far. How far did they go? Eh. I can't see them. Yeah, I see them. Yeah. <laughs> Hopping around. I could probably take one of them too, but I'm already tracking a bear. Okay, but there is a rule when it comes to hunting, and it's finished what you started. But I'll be back for you guys here in a minute. I see. Ooh, this is where we shot the bear. Vital organ hit. Yeah, that's that is a very vital hit. Oh, he's already at 20. Yeah, he's just right down here. Yeah, he he did not. He's right there. Yeah, he did not make it far. Oh, oh, Yogi, what happened? Oh no. Hey there, Yogi. Yep, that is an American black bear. Wow. Let's uh, see where we hit him. 
Yep, right in the lung. I almost hit him in the heart. If I was a good inch to the left, I could have probably got a heart shot. But I hit him right in the bottom part of his lung. Oof. Give me a thousand two hundred for him. All right. Now we can go kill the bison. Cause we finished what we started. Now we can go back and start something else. <laughs> Alright. So I'd at least like to kill a bison before this video's over, so I might as well try. Okay, they've gotten some more distance. I think I see one right up there. Yep. I'm not going to take the shot from this distance. I want to get a little closer. Unless we can see one right here. Oh, there's one. I'm not taking that shot. It's moving too much. Hold on now. He's aggressive. Oh, he didn't like that. Bring it on, partner. Bring it on. Bring it on. Come on. Come my way. Come at me. No, come on. Seriously, come on. I will light you up. Bring it on. You can warn me all you want. Bring it on, big boy. Put your money where your mouth is. Ooh, he's mad. Come on. Come on, I like the thrill of a hunt. Come on. I like the idea of being hunted while hunting. Come on, big boy. It's a losing fight. Make it far. He wanted to fight me, but he knew he couldn't. <laughs> he didn't have no fight in him. Oh, you didn't make it far, did you, bud? Where'd I hit him at? Uh, you know what? I'll take it. Oh. He's stuck. Twice. Block comes up. And death begins to rain. Oh, yeah, first shot. He's going down, anyways. Yep, he didn't make it far. Two bison. Alright, I'll take it. I don't think that second shot was no good. First shot wasn't too bad. Second shot was actually even better, in my opinion. <laughs> I hit him in both lungs. Alright, yeah, man, I'll take that. Alright, well, unfortunately, that is all the time we have for today. So, uh, yeah. Um, you know, I feel kind of bad not firing the Glock. So, you know, anyone who wanted to know what the Glock sounds like in this game, or the recoil control, here's what it sounds like. I fired three rounds for you. Alright. Alright, so, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's all for this time. I hope you guys enjoyed our little hunting extravaganza. I know Roscoe sure did. He was just the bestest boy. Thank you for your help, Roscoe. Thank you for all your tracking efforts that you've done for me here today. Alright, I'll see you guys next time.